Hey there guys, this is the Google Plus follow feature for Mass Planner, the module for Mass Planner. This is awesome and basically if, if you're into marketing, you want to build up your circle, this is how you start doing it. Um, what Mass Planner allows you to do is on autopilot route, you having to sit there with your phone or your computer and just following a person and waiting for them to follow you back and all that good stuff. Mass Planner will actually do this on, it, on its own. So let's show you how this works. You would take and set your timing settings, okay? So you wanna do these actions between 45 and 90 minutes, okay, before each new action. You're gonna follow between two and 15 people. These are default settings again, okay? Okay, for a max, follow a maximum of 350 people per day. These are the default settings set by Mass Planner, okay? One setting here also, as I say, always do your research on Google and make sure that you know, you're doing things right. So you might wanna research Google and say, okay, how many, follow, how many people am I allowed to follow on Google Plus within an hour, okay? And it'll tell you, you might wanna say within a day, okay? So if you wanna say within a day, you'll find out if this 350 number is good for your account, whether you have an old account, whether you have an, uh, a new account or what have you. And then you'd also set the tool here based on the timings. Stop the tool, you might wanna stop the tool. Like say for instance, Google Plus has a setting to not follow, not, you can't follow more than say for instance, 50 people in an hour or 100 people in an hour, okay? So what you wanna do, is you wanna set this tool to stop, okay, because our settings are 45 and 90 minutes, you wanna set it to stop for maybe, say, 30 minutes, okay? After it follows, let's say 85 users, okay? That keeps you under the 100 barrier, and it also, every hour, it's not gonna, it's gonna make sure that you're not following that maximum number, which I don't know for sure, I just said 100, okay? But whatever that number is, that's how you would set that setting, okay? Here's the timing to tell you how long it's gonna scroll the page looking for followers, okay, people that it's gonna follow. Um, depending on how, like what your keyword is, or and that's the section I'm gonna get to next, but depending on what your search criteria is, that really depends on what this number will be. You may wanna set this number higher if you have a larger search criteria. I mean, it, the keyword is very, 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 you know, like niche savvy, um, or you may wanna set it lower, all right? Um, follow times between. You can set these, that's pretty much 24 seven, okay, from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. the next day. Um, and you can also set it to only search on, or do this action on certain days. So if you wanna say, for instance, not do it on Sunday, you just tick on Sunday. If you don't wanna do it on Tuesday, you tick on Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, and so forth. If you wanna redo that action, or undo that action, you just simply click on it again, okay? The next setting before you even set start is to go to the follow sources, okay? You can follow people either using keyword resources, okay? And what I normally recommend is that you go to Google, so click on your Google here, okay? Once again, remember this handy tool where you can just open the browser by clicking on your name there, all right? And inside of Google, since I love social media marketing so much, I'm gonna, if, okay, guys, you see this where it's white? If this ever happens when you click on the browser window, just tick here where it says open Google Plus, okay? Or if, if it's Facebook or whatever, just click here where it says open it, okay? And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open the browser, it's gonna refresh this page and the browser's actually gonna come up, okay? That's, it just comes from a, a variety of reasons. Um, one big reason being that this thing does a lot of processing, okay? And even in the background, it's doing things. So maybe the browser is actually being used at that moment, so you can't use it, so. That's the reason. Well, that's one of the reasons why. All right. But anyway, we want to search for um, circles, and what we're going to do here is do just that. Let's keyword search. We're going to do social media marketing. And the reason why I'm doing this as such is because you want to make sure that when you're doing your searches, as this comes down, you see you have communities, you have people, and you have all sorts of different things. You want to make sure that Google and mass planner is kind of in sync. So maybe the word as one like that may not be good. You may need to do it as a hashtag. Okay, and you see when I click for the hashtag, it looks a bit different, but if I click explore, you'll see the results that come up with a hashtag, which is kind of like, it's pretty much meh. It's not really what we want, okay? because this is gonna search for people under this hashtag. What I normally like to do is search for people or as we're searching for here, circles. So what I'm gonna do is, um, okay, so I'll do search, social media marketing, hit enter. 
Okay, and now you see it comes up with all these circles and such like that. All right, and this is basically what I'm, where we want to be at. So this helps you to know, okay, if I search for that keyword, then boom, I put it in there, and that's how it's going to come up. It's going to search for people or in, in things under that keyword. So we'll close this for a second. All right, that's one way that you can search, and you can when you're doing this, um, you can do by hat. You can use a comma, so you can comma separate your searches, so you can put multiple things in this area. So you may want to do social media marketing. You want to may, may want to do social media, you know, and so forth and so on. All right. I'm not going to do the search right now, guys, um, because my videos have been running kind of long and this is pretty much self-explanatory, honestly. So we'll untick that or you can search for people by provided lists. Okay. So once again, what you might want to do is go into Google and you see the, the, they give you, they basically give you everything you need guys, to be honest with you. So, a provided list is a circle, all right? That's actually what it is. It's a circle. Um, you just want to look at your, the, the URL that you're putting into Mass Planner, and you want to make sure that it looks like this, okay? And after you've added those circles, okay, that you're gonna that you're gonna join, and you can get circles from your group joiner if you think about it and put it in here, and um, you just click Add Accounts, okay? And it's gonna add them one by one down here, and it'll join them, or should I say, follow them as per your settings in the first screen which is here, okay? So once you've input your resources, you simply click start, Google Plus to start following these people, boom, 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 boom. The people start seeing the notifications that you're following them, then they'll start following you back, all right? So that's how the follow portion works, guys. It's This is a great way if you're trying to build up your networks, okay? Mass Planner really, really does that, all right? So the follow method with uh, Google Plus, perfect, excellent for building your Google Plus network, guys. Talk to you guys in the next video.